I ran as fast as I could. It was almost time for the bell to ring. Luckily, I made it in time. I was never late to school. The bad thing was my best friend didn't come to school that day. I had nothing to do during lunch, so it was really boring. I had some other kids to hang out with, but they were always talking amongst themselves. So they did not include me in the conversation most of the time. I was just roaming around the school when I saw a little girl sitting far away from the others. She was all alone eating her lunch. She looked so lonely that I thought I would try to make friends with her. Hey there, what's your name? I said sitting down beside her. She stopped eating and looked at me. I'm Daisy, she replied quietly. Why are you sitting here alone? I asked her. I'm new here, she said. I just came to the school a few days ago and I don't have any friends. Oh, I said, looking at what she was eating. Cute lunch. Did you make it yourself? It looks delicious. The lunch box she was holding in her hand was filled to the brim with meat. No. My mom prepares a packed lunch for me every day, she said. Do you want to try it? The girl took a piece of meat out of the lunch box and handed it to me. I ate it. It tasted awesome. Wow, I've never tasted something this good, I said, surprised. She looked delighted. Really? Thank you, she said. I'll ask my mom to make a packed lunch for you tomorrow. I agreed. She smiled brightly. I smiled back at her. I was looking forward to the lunch. When I got home after school, I received a text from my best friend saying that she was sick and would not be able to go to school the next day. I felt really down. But then again, I wouldn't be lonely. I had a new friend to talk during lunch time. The following day, I ran down the stairs during lunch period. I was starving for my new friend's lunch. She was waiting for me at the bench where we met the other day. Here's the packed lunch my mom made for you, she said cheerfully. Thanks, I said, already licking my lips. When I opened the lunch box and looked inside, the smell of freshly cooked meat filled the air. It looked really delicious. I stabbed my fork into the piece of meat, blew on it and shoved it in my mouth. It was even tastier than it had been the previous day. I wondered how her mother learned to cook such delicious food. Thanks, really. It's a great meal, I said. Do you want to come over to my house? She asked. Of course, I said. That day, after school had finished, I called my mom and told her that I would be home later than the usual. Daisy lived quite far from the place where my house was. The house looked nice from outside, but when we walked inside, a pungent smell caught my nose. It was so overpowering, but Daisy didn't seem to notice, and I didn't want to embarrass her by mentioning it. She led me in the kitchen, and the horrible smelling even grew worse. I had to hold my breath. She asked me to sit down, so I sat on a chair. The disgusting smell was driving me crazy. What kind of house is this? I thought to myself. There was a bowl sitting on the table. I peered into it and something began creeping me out. In the bowl, there were some big, sloppy, brown, meat-like things. Have you ever tasted dung? Daisy asked. Dung? I said, confused. Yes, roasted dung, she said, smiling. It's the best taste of all. No thanks, I replied. That sounds gross. 
Maybe we could just have what we have for lunch. Okay, no problem, she smiled. Daisy opened the refrigerator. A foul smell came forth. When Daisy stepped back, I was horrified to see what was lying inside. It was the half-eaten body of a man and a woman. Flesh and skin had been sliced off the legs and arms. Their dead faces just stared into oblivion. Oh, I'm sorry, said Daisy. I forgot to introduce you to my family. Here, meet my mom. A few years ago, my friend and I were staying in a small cabin my dad had on a remote piece of land in the Idaho wilderness. The nearest town was probably 50 miles away and the nearest active road that wasn't an old logging road was about two miles from the cabin. My friend and I were enjoying and laughing in the cabin in our bunks and it was about midnight. We had turned off the lantern and were trying to fall asleep when we heard something that sounded like something had scraped the door. We both lifted our heads up and mumbled a conversation of did you hear something? Yeah, ha ha. Then, in the middle of nowhere, in this remote cabin, someone starts knocking on the door. Doesn't say anything, just knocks. We were both in our thirties, but we were so scared, we didn't say anything. Just lay there with our heads up staring at the door. We didn't go out until it was light out again. There was nothing near the door that would have tapped against it and no animal tracks. It freaks me out even thinking about it. <laughs>